Greetings, everyone. Today uh, we're going to do um, brakes, rotors, and uh, rear hubs replacement. Her hubs are um, really, really making a lot of noise. Here's the hub bearing. I bought the whole complete set. We're doing a 2015 Ford Escape uh, SE two wheel drive. Um, so, as you can see, the rotors are looking really bad. So we'll put new rotors, brakes, and uh, hub bearings. Okay, first of all, we're going to remove the spring here. that easy right I'm gonna get a screwdriver hang on a second All right. That part is loose. You know what? We don't need to take that completely off. All right, we're going to um, use a T45 socket to remove the caliper. the bottom one here I'm no means, I'm no professional mechanic. I've done a lot of breaks in my history. I'm sure I might be doing something wrong that someone else might be seeing, but I do what works. There, that one's clear.
so close. There we go. I'll have to use that tool to turn the Shoes aren't, they're worn, but not too bad. Now, gonna take the bracket off. I believe it's a 13 millimeter. Yep, take the bracket off. That bad boy's on there. Get a hammer. Try a hammer first.
one bolt out. some WD-40 in there. As I was going to get the W40, I went and got those other tools so I can put that piston back in. There we go. That rotor is really, really, geez, really bad. All right. That'll go in the scrap along with the brakes. So now I gotta take a look at the hub bearing. It's pretty rusted. If I can get that loose. All right, for the hub bearing, I believe it's the special E14. See that E14? So, we'll see. One, I'd have to go get an extension. Yep, right there. Gotta go get a little extension. Okay. 
is on there. up. Yeah, she's really rusted. Car's got like 96,000 miles on it for 2015. Okay, I was able to get all four bolts out. Um, that one that I had over here underneath was the hardest. The rest were easy. I just heated up a little bit and cracked it loose. But as you can see, I went with a half inch um, socket versus the little three eighths. It gave me a little bit more leverage. Plus, I was able to find my persuader there. So now it's just a matter of trying to get this off. And then there's a, a plug in the back that I'm going to have to get off. But I don't want to really go crazy on this just in case that new one doesn't fit I mean they say it is but you just never know as we can tell maybe I might have to heat up some more just heat up the round part of the Rust sometimes is stronger than a weld or even compound, blue, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's give it a couple more wraps. the 
bolts were gonna be a problem. shut the video off until I get this all right I was able to get this old hub bearing out or wheel bearing whatever you want to call it. it's about the same um, had to really 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 pound on it she finally broke loose I had to heat it up to him um, and uh, she broke loose I know when my dad used to work on cars he used to heat up a lot of things and I learned from him on a bunch of things but I've done, I do more things than he ever did um, as far as working on cars. Plus, I think nowadays, you know, some cars are easy to work on. Yeah, I mean, like in the engine compartment and stuff like that, it's, um, you know, there's not a lot of room versus like the cars in the 60s and 70s. But I find all around that I'm working on newer cars more than I did on older cars. So... Maybe the newer cars tend to fail a little bit more. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, so we're going to stick the new hub bearing on. And we'll go from there. All right. And there you have it. New rotors. New brake pads. New uh, hub assembly. Brands making new. It went easier than I thought. The only thing was is that the old hub bearing um, took a little bit to hammer on, as you can see. And then again, this is two wheel drive, so. But yeah, uh, just so you know, I paid roughly about $300 in parts between the rotor, the brakes, pads and um, hub bearing now I looked it up on Google and they say anywhere if you took it in from a shop anywhere from eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars maybe even more who knows um, this was an easy fix I mean it took a little time but you know it's a Saturday I'm not in a hurry um, and I just you know want to go through everything make sure I did everything right Instead of rushing around and uh, doing everything so yep uh, now I'm gonna do the other side but I'm not gonna film the other side because it's just basically the opposite of what I did here and I don't want to bore everybody uh, by doing the same thing so uh, maybe I'll just show an update on everything when it's all done and I'll take it for a test drive and we'll go from there so all right I'll come back and uh, give you an update on the right side of the vehicle okay got the job done on the other side on the right side tire um, pretty much had the same problems with uh, taking out the four bolts um, the two on this side were a um, little harder two on this side were a lot easier had to hit it with the hammer for a while to get it off the hub bearing but everything went really well um, a lot quieter the wife is happy on how it sounds now the next expense will be tires as these aren't looking very well and the other thing too is with the hub bearing um, I think the tires were not wearing very evenly so like over in here the tires are a little bit uh, worn so that'll be our next expense like I said um, you know it cost it about $300 for me to do it you know my time is free uh if you would have had it taken it by a garage which i mean that's fine if you want to do that i don't you know i don't care but to me i would like to see i like to do things myself just to save a little extra cash 
um, like I said, it was 300 bucks. It would have probably been 800, 1200 bucks, maybe even more. Uh, I think it was about four, four and a half hours of my time. So that isn't really too bad, I think. Uh, I just took my time, made sure I did everything right. No brushing or anything like that. Sometimes if you rush through things, um, you know, it might take you twice as long. So again, thanks for watching my video. Um, I hope this is a learning experience it was for me and uh, you know if you have any type of tools that didn't you know I had to get a couple extra tools but it wasn't really that uh, cost effective so um, but yeah I think anybody can do this um, it's pretty simple for a two-wheel drive that is so I've I don't know about four-wheel drive all right well if you like what I'm doing please subscribe give me a thumbs up my thumb is dirty, just like my hands. And um, we'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching. Bye for now.